Hi everyone, Mary Espresso Press Design bonus video today, kind of, sort of. I am uh, going to post a day early and we're taking another break from the 12 by 12s and just doing a fun little thing with matchbooks. I have to go away tomorrow. So it's what did I say? August 12th and first thank yous. Gina, Sandra, thank you Sandra for that lovely review. Yes, those papers in Floral Garden are gorgeous. Chantal, Suzanne, Deborah, Suzanne with a Z, Kathy, and Peggy Lee. Thank you so much for your orders, your kind comments. Thank you for visiting. Thank you, Suzanne, for that fabulous idea last week regarding the um, 112 by 12 and gluing the backs together. I have to write that down so I don't forget because I want to, um, I want to do that. So thank you. So this week, um, only one thing is new, Field Notes, Limited Editions, that's on Etsy. Um, lovely, beautiful uh, yellow flowers and variety flowers on the other page. And um, what is it? page layout had time to do a little extra and it's a kit so um, first kit I've done in quite some time 22 pages on Etsy okay I can't wait to show you this I was coming up with some dimensional little things and I came up with this idea as I was doing it. And they are these little matchbook dimensionals, 3D matchbooks. And I've been making into them and making them. And it just started out. I wanted to um, use these two inch strips. I don't know how well you're going to see that. Let me see here. But after you make them, they have their own little stand. And I know you can't see that being upside down. But let me show you again how they are dim dimensional. And I made many, many, <laughs> and that's what we're going to make today. And I'm going to give you dimensions. This was the second one. I'm going to give you dimensions precisely, but then, of course, you can make them whatever size you care to. These are probably going to show up a lot better in the um, photo, I'm sure. So then I moved on to some vintage. This is one of my absolute favorites. I don't. Hopefully, you can tell that's dimensional. And then I did this one. Which is all vintage. And then I did this one. This one I went the opposite direction. It has a little charm. And 
little man's face, little clock, one of my wax paper things. And I think, you know, this is one of my favorites. So let me stand it up here. And I will do two, a front-facing photo and a flat photo so you can see. But I would highly recommend going to the blog and blogs and <clears throat> looking at the photos. So what you'll need is a two by six inch piece and a four inch piece, two by four inch piece. And then we are going to score at three quarters of an inch um, three and a quarter inch and three and a half so that's two by six three quarters three and a quarter three and a half and that's just going to form your basic matchbook, like so. Okay, then the next one is going to be every half inch, half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. And I'm going to do it on the other side too. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Then we're going to fold the first one toward us. This is going to be a little accordion. Get it as straight as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So there's our accordion. Here's our matchbook. So what we're going to do is make sure our peaks are going up. And then we're going to so put your peaks like this. Fold it up. Gonna have to cut a little bit off the one edge. It's a little wide. Okay. Fold it up and then we're gonna glue it, but not at the seam line, just under the um, fold line, I mean. And then I have some, one theme I haven't really done. As you can imagine, the themes would be endless, but one I haven't done is flowers. So I just have some little flowers cut here. Because, uh, believe me, those, by the time I went around and 
tried to find everything. Um, those took a long time, but really they shouldn't take that long. So, okay, there's our first fold glee, um, glued, and there's our little accordion. And then it's going to flip up like that when we're done. So unfold your peaks a little bit and you'll have one, two, three peaks to decorate. So what I like to do is start on the last peak with my biggest and tallest thing and I actually might have to put a little fold that up so you can see how much you're going to lose. I mean it just takes getting the basic construction and then you can start working on a composition. So that's probably going to need a little stem or something. And I have a whole bunch of little papers here for doing that. Um, why not? Let's go with this. I wanted this one to be whimsical anyway. So let me just get a little edge off here. Put that flower on. Give it a little prop. Okay. Definitely don't need that much, so I'm going to cut that in half and Maybe there'll be something I can use that other little piece for. And remember, you only have this space to work with. But of course, once you learn, you can make all kinds. Or all sizes, I mean. So you can definitely go up with this. three inches, whatever, four inches. I have to move that over. Okay. That's good. So I had all these pre-cut. And pre-made because everything here in my little basket is too vintage. So there's now that can even come up a lot higher. I just tore it. That's okay because you're not going to see that.
I just don't want to lose. I think I should be able to get my entire flower on there. In there. Let me go this way. There, that'll be better. That way I can make sure that's where I want it. So just hold that down. Okay. There we go. Okay, there's there's peak one. The one in the back. I'm gonna move on to peak two. I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing. Yeah. Where'd you go? I need another little prop. And I was thinking well, I know I'm not going to fit you, so stem. It's okay. Probably rather have it up a little bit. Right there. I'm just going to glue that on first. Okay. Okay, that's that's peak one. Let me see how high I can get this one. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. I should use a different color, but you're not going to see it anyway. Stay there a minute. Okay, I'm probably going to use the white flower there that has little gold text on it, but you can't see it. Okay, this is fun. I wish I would have had more. Um, Die cuts and things like more little birds and better get that over just a little more. So I have to fit that whole flower there. There we go. Okay, there's peak two. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. 
and you can see them begin to pop up when you fold it in there. <coughs> Number three. See, that's what I was afraid of. They're going to have to come down. Or do a smaller flower. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I think I'm going to see what a smaller flower looks like. Um, or maybe even a different flower. Let's try that. Come on. What's wrong with you? Let's try that. Are you dark enough? Or should you be light? Um, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay, but it needs a dot. And I think I'm going to try a black dot. I wish I had. I could try a green dot. Okay. Try a green dot. Just something to... Uh, Highlight that it's a flower. Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking. <laughs> These require um, thinking. Okay, I think that's better. So you have to be about right there. Oh, can you imagine you guys for Christmas, mm -hmm. Valentine's? That's my husband. I don't know if you can hear that. You can tell we had a cool night. And you can even put something on the back. Got to make sure I'm in that line there. Okay. Isn't that so cute? So then, let me see. I have a little tiny leaf here. Do 
because that's one, one, two, three, four. I'd like to get five. Okay. Just going to glue that. Right there, hopefully. Okay. So then, for the end, we're just going to fold down our flap or our accordion. And then we're just going to push this forward and glue them together. And we're going to get our staple. We're going to staple right near the edge, like an eighth of an inch. And then your your um, flap is actually going to be in your first accordion fold. And there you go. And then of course you can decorate the front. I even had an idea maybe of putting a hole in the front. Should I try that? Why not? But uh, you know, I'm trying to think of my best view. If it would even work, I don't know. Have to go in that way. Hope I'm in the center. Okay, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's see what happens. Make sure I get this in here. And Usually at the end I trim off like another eighth of an inch. Oh, that's cute. There's one with a hole. Even more dimension. Okay. So let me trim that. I'll show you here. I mean, I just take off a sliver because to make up for this staple. There we go. So see, that's all I took off. Oh, is that cute? It's not centered. And then of course I could put some little things around the front. Let me show you here. Where are we? 30 minutes. Isn't that cute? I wish I had more of a shadow so you could see. And then We can stand it up. Let me bring that up so you can maybe see how much <laughs> dimension is there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'd like to make another one, but I don't have don't have anything pre-assembled, but I'm just going to go through them again. 
Again, this is one of my favorites. Let me stand up so I can make sure that's a favorite. You're not okay, you're gonna slip and slide on me. There's the um little mini collection. I mean, can you imagine you can do lace? You know, there's little, I have a little lace die cut. There's one with a charm. I don't, this one I um, glued something on the back. <clears throat> this one was with an even smaller scrap. So let me see if you can, a lot of dimension in this one. Um, and then I still, I'm just going to lay, just going to lay this like this. And there's the heart flowers. Those are stickers from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then I still love my first one. Except, you know, I wish I would have t made that little butterfly on the bottom a little more. Um, up a little more and the first one I decorated the front so there we go um, trying to think if there's anything else I should tell you so it's just a 2 by 6 and a 4 inch by 2 inch or any shape or size matchbook you want because I just made my first one on the fly and oh the sky is the limit um, garden stories found objects favorite papers uh, of course, little um, pa Tim Holtz paper dolls, little photos, oh, all kinds of things. The sky is the limit, you guys, and I know I'm going to be making more of these for Christmas and everything else, just because they're just like a little... A little art piece and when the person gets them they can just set them on their desk and think of you S such a great idea for happy mail because they're so <laughs> they're so fun and they're actually pretty quick okay I'll see you next time everyone I really hope you like this and We'll do a 12 by 12, or I will um, do my next one of these so we can close out the summer in relax mode, is how I see it, how I've been looking at it. I've been trying to steal as many minutes as possible while it's raining or whatever, just to have a little relaxed time, and these are a lot of fun. I hope you'll like them too. Bye.